always wear safety glasses and a glove on the hand that is holding the bar and chain. Before beginning, it is imperative that the chain brake is in the disengaged position by moving the front hand guard towards the front handle. Only a dealer can replace the cover if you remove it while the chain brake is engaged. Remove the bar nuts and the clutch cover. Remove the transportation rings or spacers and discard. Fit the bar over the bar bolts and place the bar in its rearmost position. Place the chain over the drive sprocket. Notice the orientation of the chain with the cutter teeth facing forward on the top edge of the bar for it to be installed correctly. Locate the drive links in the groove on the bar. Begin on the top edge of the bar and check that the drive links of the chain fit correctly over the drive sprocket and that the chain is correctly located in the groove in the bar. Place the chain adjuster pin in the clutch cover into the hole in the bar then fit the clutch cover on the unit. Tighten the bar nuts finger tight. Tension the chain by turning the chain tensioning screw clockwise using the combination spanner while holding up the bar tip. The chain is correctly tensioned when the bottom of the drive link can't be visibly lifted above bar, but the chain can still be turned easily by the hand. Tighten the bar nuts with the combination spanner. Do not over tighten. When using a saw with toolless tensioning, turn the handle one half turn counterclockwise and then use the thumb wheel to tighten the chain. After fitting a new chain, the chain tension has to be checked frequently until the chain is run in. A correctly tensioned chain ensures good cutting performance and long life. Never adjust the chain while it is hot. The position of the chain tensioning screw on our chainsaws varies from model to model. Refer to your manual for actual location of the tensioning screw.